given the shifts that you're talking about, explain some of the other steps that you would take if you were a marketeer, given the environment you just painted. If You know, it's funny, a lot of people razz on me for my absolute statements, but I think of marketing like poker. If you have the best hand, you go in. I'm a boy, and I say a boy because this is what I was a kid when this happened. I am unbelievably, uh, I regret tremendously not spending all my money on Google in 2001 to 2004. When I rewound how I built my dad's business, it was because I was handed a full house. It was called Google, day one, five cents a click. My CAC was 10 cents, my LTV was $8. I didn't understand, because I didn't know. I didn't have experience yet. I didn't know how to quantify it. It seemed normal to me. I was digitally native. This seemed like it made sense. Why wouldn't everybody do this? And then it went away. And then 2007, 8, 9 happened. So for me, we're sitting in that moment right now. Instagram story ads are so grossly underpriced, it's almost uncomfortable. I've, I've, I'm running, actually this is amazing. Maha, are you in here? Where are you? Yeah, you know this. In four minutes, in four minutes, in five days, my follow count on my Gary B. Arabic page went from 900 people to 30,000. 700, 700 people to 30,000 because we found a single piece of content that I converted into Arabic from a piece of content that is achieving 1.9 cent follows on Instagram. If you understand how like the friction to get somebody to follow you based on an impression, Think about how inexpensive I'm getting in front of every, every Arabic speaking person that is on Instagram to get 1.9 cent follows. So when I found out on a $200 spend that that was working, I just poured all my money into it. And, I, and by the way, I'm gonna pour all my money into it in perpetuity because I wanna extract the underpriced nature of the media and I figured out how to create the volume of content that broke through to eventually get me a 1.9 cent follow because we've gotten on our 30th piece of content, we got there not on our first. People are running, making one video and then putting it on YouTube and Facebook and then saying, is it work or not? We're not producing creatively, natively, contextually to the platforms that we're advertising on. We're using television mentality for the internet. It's just, it's, it's remarkably wrong and, and not even Vayner and let alone all the traditional agencies are not in a position to create the work needed for the realities of the marketplace.